everyone, so I hope you're all doing well. Today I am doing a prom makeup tutorial. Since it is prom season, I wanted to come up with a look that's perfect for prom. Um, this is also perfect for any special event or any time you want to get glammed up. So I totally figured since it's prom, you might as well go all out and totally do like a glam makeup look. So why not, right? <laughs> So if you guys like this makeup look, be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really helps me out and i really like to know that you guys liked it. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy and let's jump into it. First taking my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer just to use as a base and to cancel out any discoloration in my eyelid. I then I'm taking my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder just to set that concealer so it doesn't crease or anything. And then I'm taking a mixture of Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee to put that in my crease has a transition color so that all the other colors blend out really nicely. And then next I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Frappe and I'm going to put that in the crease as well just to add some extra depth. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I'm packing that on in lighter layers just because that really helps eyeshadows blend out really well. And I'm putting this on the outer V and into my crease a little bit and then I'm kind of dragging it toward the center of my eyelid as well. Now as you can see I'm just taking a different blending brush between each layer just to really blend it out. So next I am taking Urban Decay's Blackout which is just a black color and I'm packing this on lightly in layers as well and blending it out with a different brush between the layers because this is just going to make the blending process a lot easier instead of just packing a whole bunch at once. It's a lot easier to blend out if you just do little layers at a time. And I'm putting this on my outer V and kind of slightly blending it into the crease. And then just to make sure that black is really blended out, I'm going to take Frappe again and kind of just blend that throughout the crease. And then I'm also taking Cocoa Bear again and I'm putting that next to the black to kind of blend it out really well and into the crease as well to help blend it. So next I'm taking L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush which is this beautiful rose gold color and you need it in your life. And I'm packing this on my eyelid and then I'm taking a blending brush in my crease just to make sure everything is blended out. So next I am doing winged eyeliner with my NYC Liquid Eyeliner. Then next I am taking my Inglot Gel Liner in black and I'm putting this in my tight line. So next I am taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is just going to make sure your foundation lasts like for a long long time. And it is prom so you definitely want it to last and it's going to make your foundation go on smoother. Then I'm taking my Pixi Brightening Peach Concealer just to cancel out any dark circles. And for foundation, I am using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and then to set that foundation, I am just going to use my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And then I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just to highlight my under eyes. So to set that concealer, I am using my e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. So then I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer to bronze up my cheekbones, the sides of my forehead, along my hairline, and then down my temples in the three shape, down toward the jawline. I know my bronzer and contour are going to look a little bit scary, but I have a trick later on that makes it all look flawless. Just bear with me. And I'm also bringing it down my neck. And then to contour, I am taking Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach and I'm putting this in the hollows of my cheeks and the very sides of my forehead and along my hairline. Then for my highlight, I am using the Balm Mary Luminizer and I'm putting this on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, along my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and up toward my forehead and arch of my brows. And then for blush, I am using my Milani Luminoso Blush. Okay, so Wayne Goss had this in one of his videos. This trick is seriously amazing. You buff a powder into your skin and it literally makes it all melt together and look flawless. 
Then I am taking black out once again. I'm focusing most of the color on the outer corner and then I'm blending it in toward the center. And then I'm taking Cocoa Bear and I'm blending that black out with that. Then I'm taking my Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in Nude and putting that in my waterline. And then I'm going to coat my top and bottom lashes in my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I'm filling in my brows with Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. And then I'm using my Ardell 120 Lashes. And to make sure there's no glue that's showing, I'm just going over with my liquid eyeliner once again. And then for lipstick, I'm using Maybelline Daringly Nude. And then over top for lip gloss, I am using my Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in Nude. And then I'm going in with Foxy by Urban Decay, and I'm highlighting my brow bone with that. And then once again, I'm going in with Mary Luminizer, and I'm putting that on my inner corner and on top of my brow bone as well as a highlight. And then I'm blending everything together. All right, and that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do recreate this makeup look, I would love to see it. So I'll leave my Instagram and other social media accounts down below so that you can tag me or whatever if you do do this makeup look. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. What's up? Do you want to be in my video? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay.